Good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee hearing. My name is Dominic M. Recchia, Jr. and I am joined by my colleagues today. Sitting to my left uh, is um, Fernando Cabrera, Councilmember Fernando Cabrera, Councilmember Van, Councilmember Jimmy Van Bramus, and to my right, Councilmember James Otto, Councilmember Vincent Ignizio, Councilmember Louis Fiddler, Councilmember Oliver Coppell, and Councilmember Robert Jackson. Today we have two items on our agenda. We have a land use item, a transparency reso. Let me start with the land use item, which is located in Councilmember Mendez District in Manhattan, Mascot Flats, will receive a partial tax exemption for the acquisition of four buildings that provide 19 units of affordable housing, low-income families. The property was formerly the J51 program, and the owner has been unable to pay taxes since 2006. With this property tax exemption, the property will receive a full retroactive property tax exemption from 2006 to the present, and a partial property tax exemption beginning at the effective date of this reso. Councilmember Mendez supports this. Now let's move on to the transparency reso. Uh, this resolution sets forth new changes and designation of certain organizations receiving local, aging, and youth discretionary funding, as well as new changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving funding for certain initiatives in the budget. Representatives from Council Finance are here to answer any questions you have on the transparency resos. Organizations appearing in the re reso that have not yet completed the pre-qualification process conducted by the Mayor's Office of Contracts, the Council, or another entity are identified in the asterisk, with, on the charts with an asterisk. As with all transparency resos, Council members have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any organization listed, he or she will have the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of the vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with the proposed subcontractors that are used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made by the subcontract uh, before the subcontractor can be approved. Members will be contacted by the conflict council's ethics and employment council, Nadir, to complete disclosure forms as necessary. These are all the items on for today's agenda. Does anyone have any questions? Seeing no one has any questions, Billy, please call the roll. Will your Martin committee clerk will call vote committee on finance, council member Recchia. Um, before I vote, I will encourage all my members to vote aye. In addition to that, I would like to put on the record that I have a conflict. Uh, one of the CASA programs is going to Mark Twain Intermediate School where my daughter is a student. And I vote aye and I'll encourage all my members. We have been joined by Rosie Mendez, Diana Reyna, and Karen Kosowitz. Fiddler. Jackson. Coppell. Van. Cabrera. Kozlowitz. Van Bramer. Aye. Ignizio. Aye. Otto. Reyna. I vote aye. By vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, no abstentions. Both items have been adopted. Members, please sign the committee reports. Uh, at this time, I'd like to recognize Councilmember Rosie Mendez, who had the tax exemption in her, pro in her district. I believe she su you support it. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just wanted to come and speak on behalf of this on the record. Um, this is one of many buildings that during the fiscal crisis of the 70s, uh, landlords abandoned buildings, didn't pay their taxes, and we had shelves of buildings. This particular building is part of a group called Habitat for Humanity, and in the 1970s, uh, President Carter came to this street as well as to the Bronx. Everybody remembers when he was in the Bronx. But uh, through Habitat, through Humanity, and other sweat equity programs, we've been able to save and create affordable housing and keep this as an affordable cooperative and in my district, uh, these uh, low-income cooperatives have become uh, cash poor but asset rich. So these tax abatements and exemptions are critical to keep them affordable. I want to thank uh, my colleagues for voting on behalf of this. 
and the city and HPD for working with the cooperators to ensure that they get these benefits. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Debbie Rose. And uh, that passed. Does anybody else have any questions? Without seeing that, we call the vote. I just like to make one announcement. Today is Council Member Helen Diane Foster's last day as a Council Member of this New York City Council. She will become the new State Commissioner on Human Rights for under Governor Andrew Cuomo. So uh, we will miss her. She's part of this committee and we want to thank her for the years of dedication to this wonderful council and to this co committee. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll leave the vote open until 1110.